Hi guys, Mel the Train Shooter here again and this time with another product review and in this product review we're going to be looking at the MicroArts Canal System. Now straight from the off, MicroArts are a small sculpting miniature based company based in Poland. They've been around for a few years and they do some wonderful stuff. Okay, it's the first time I've had my hands on the terrain, so let's take a look. Now, I picked up the canal system, and first things first is, it comes packaged like this, which is basically a plastic bag and a cardboard label. Okay, and I've got no problem with this. Okay, I'm all about function, not, not prettiness. Okay, so this is perfectly fine for me. Uh, could it lead to some damages in transport packing? Yeah, quite possibly. Okay, but overall, this isn't a problem for me. So, let's go cameras down and actually look at the canal sets and what you get, and I'll talk you through them, okay? So, cameras down, guys. So, they do two basic canal sets. Uh, this is set one, okay, and it retails at around about £40. Uh, in the set, you've got two end pieces, which I really like, okay? Two bends, one short straight, one long straight and it like I say it retails for about 40 pound now the other set canal set 2 comes with an extra bend an extra straight short straight and an extra long straight okay now I've laid these out and I'll show you some pictures in a minute but basically canal set 1 will stretch approximately two and a half foot Whereas Canal Set 2, which retails for about £50, will stretch for about three foot in, in distance across your board. Now I was thinking about this and I was a bit disappointed that Set 2 would only go three foot, you know. Uh, most of our tables are minimum four foot wide. But the saving grace with this is these end bits. Because what you can do is literally add these onto the short bits in the middle of the table and then you can have a continuous river with a gap in between. So do you see what I'm doing there? Breathe like that. So these end bits are a real saver, to be perfectly honest, to the system. If it was just straight canals, I'd be dissing it like I was dissing the Pegasus Hobbies one. You know, because it won't stretch your table, it's therefore no use. These end bits, real saver. So, let's talk about some dimensions to start off with and give you the facts. All these are five inches across. Okay, and the water is two and a half, sorry, is two inches across. And they've been built with gaming in mind. And the reason I say that is there's plenty of flat paces where models can be balanced. Yeah, so it's a functional bit of terrain and I really like that. You know, that's a big plus for me. So, let's talk about it now. One thing that really got me about the micro art stuff is I looked at their website and they said quality average. I was like, right, okay, what does that actually mean? You know, if a company turns around and says quality is average, then what they're basically saying is expect damage, expect miscasts, you know, but you don't really understand what that means. And sometimes I think it's a bit of a, a get out clause. But, you know, if some, some things do come damaged more than they would normally, you know, they could just turn around and say, well, we did say it was average quality. You know, if you're going to turn around and say, look, there's problems with this product, the quality isn't brilliant, then I think you're going to have to watch at list what the expected problems are. And if you don't, then, you know, it's just a get out. If there was a list saying you can expect small bubbles under one millimeter at certain places, you can expect such and such, I'd be fine. Just tell me it's average quality until I get my hands on it just isn't good enough. Especially in the same situation where you're seeing brilliant pieces in all the marketing. You know, there's no damage highlighted in those, you know. But when you actually get the pieces, hmm. Right, back to it. Sorry. The length of these. The long pieces are seven inches. The watcher at short pieces are three and a half. I don't know why they didn't go for four and eight, you know, and make it 12 inches, but you know, these pieces are roughly four inches in length. These are, as the river flows, three inches. So it's a reasonable size set. Now I wanna just talk about the quality for a second. Now obviously it comes spray painted, obviously it's hard foam, yeah, which looks like, I don't know if it's a mixture of plastic, uh, polystyrene and resin or what it is to be perfectly honest and if anyone can explain it to me 
please add it in the comments because I'm quite curious. I mean, it is tough stuff. You know, this is going to take some damage. Talking about damage, I mean, this is how this came in the package. And as you can see, this panel here is all damaged. This panel here is damaged. You know, and that's going to, that's going to need repairing or covering over because that's going to be quite obvious when it's on the table. Now, there's lots of other little bits of nicks and wears, etc. And, you know, I expected that. You know, it is foam terrain. It is packed in. What I didn't expect was the bends. Okay, and what I mean by that is, if I was to get this piece, I was to get this piece, do you see the drop there? Do you see that? Okay, let me try it with this piece, it's a bit clearer. Ah, let's try it with this one. Look at that. Do you see the gap there? Now, there's one thing saying average quality, you know, but a 5 mil drop in where it's been sanded at the base and all the all the corners seem to have this problem it's not a problem with the straight bits it's purely a problem with the corners but they all have these drops and it's all on this side so i'm assuming that whoever's firing these down and sanding them is, is, <coughs> isn't doing the right job now personally saying it's average quality does not excuse that this piece should not have gone through qa end of yeah some of the other pieces aren't as bad you know there's more of a little drop with that one. Uh, where's the other one? That one's, you know, that one's acceptable. I can live with that. That's only like a mil, maybe a mil and a half. But that isn't acceptable. And that certainly isn't acceptable. So just to show you, I've got the two end pieces. Look at the drop in that. They should be level. You know, it should be like that all lined up yeah but you've got a five mil gap at the bottom and that just isn't on guys okay so i'm disappointed about that now i did pick up some other pieces so obviously you know i've gone out i bought canal set number two on top of that i picked myself up a, a bag of extra corners and to be truthful i'm a little bit disappointed now i did now i know that they've got problems with height in fact, straight out of the bag, let's have a look at this. Let's do a little experiment. So we've got four corner pieces in this bag. If I can get it open, guys. Come on, Quagmire. Give me a hand. Right, four corner pieces. Yeah, straight out of the bag. First time they've been unwrapped. So. That's better. That's really better. So that one's a good one. Okay, that one's not bad at all. Just a, a mil or so drop, but I can live with that. Okay, a couple of mils drop. I could raise that up a little. I don't know what happened to this one. It doesn't look like it's actually been undercoated, guys, to be perfectly honest. But that one's... What's, what's stopping that pushing together? Okay, that one... The actual side is warped and sloped, so as you can see, they don't actually meet. Okay, so three of them not bad, one of them a bit iffy. I think I was quite unlucky to get this piece with the significant drop, so that may be a little bit biased. But be aware, these corner pieces are going to cause you problems. Okay, now I also picked up the Techno Bridge, the, the bridge. And I've got to say, yeah, this is one of my favourite pieces. All in all, it looks like a little slope there. I can forgive that, to be perfectly honest. Now, this is seven inches wide, okay? And I don't know about a land raider, but I know full well that a chimera will fit nicely across it and look good doing it, okay? So, big plus for this. I like this piece. It looks very nice. Okay, it's also aesthetically one of my favourite pieces. I think it's because it's just so simple. You know, I like simple functional things. Now, other thing I did is I picked up a couple of extra straights because I was damn sure that I wanted my bridge to, my, my canal to go at a decent distance. So let me just clear these off so you can see a few pieces. 
Now, we've, we've talked about the corners, and just before I finish talking about the corners, something I noticed, all the moulds are identical, i.e. all the straight pieces are exactly the same, okay? You know, they're exactly the same moulds. Now, the corner pieces aren't. Now, you've got this corner piece, and this has got this sort of rubbish on it. And then if you carry on looking, you've got this corner piece, which isn't, which doesn't have that. Okay, and I've got no idea why, you know, we've got one that does and one that does. I don't know if someone, you know, in the design stage said we need one turning left and we need one turning right and they made two corners. I don't know, okay. But I do prefer that one over that one. Yeah, and the reason being is because I have no idea what that is supposed to be and I have no idea how I'm going to paint it, to be perfectly honest. Okay, now... That's the corner pieces. When it comes to the long pieces, as I've explained, yeah, it comes with this hard, dark foam. Now, I got a pack of extra long pieces, and if you look in them, there's quite a significant difference in the foam. Now, I'm not sure if this is earlier foam. Uh, it's a lot more brittle. Now, for example, I can do that, and nothing will really come off. If I do this, yeah, it's literally breaking off there. I can literally sweep it all up together and make a pile of it. Okay, so this is probably going to need sealed. Now, because they come in those clear plastic bags, if you're buying this in the shop, take a look under the bits. Avoid this one, okay, because it is cheaper. It's less, it's fragile, it's brittle. This is the better quality stuff, the dark stuff. Okay, now another thing I don't think you... I'm not sure if you'll be able to see is yeah you see those little pink bits there that's the actual mold Oop, so are doing this in a webcam yeah these little pink bits on these bits that's the actual mold that they were cast from and it's been ripped out when they've taken the this casting out which means that the next cast to be done in that mold all these points are going to be all blobby and you know less defined because the mold isn't there Okay, so that could be what they mean by average quality. The moulds aren't brilliant and they're falling apart. I mean, there are lots of little bubble damages and, and, and odds and swads, but they're nothing major, nothing you can't fix with a bit of green stuff if you want to. Or break them out and make them look like bullet holes. Now, one other thing about this that I noticed is obviously the long bits are identical. And the short bits are identical. Now this isn't a problem until you reach the point where you realise that every piece has a has a barrel in it. Okay, and what I did is I laid these out in a long strip and it looked like there'd been an overflow at the barrel factory. Okay, so it's a minor point, but just be aware that, you know, if you're going to have six foot of straight, expect a lot of barrels in it. Okay, minor point, but I wanted to raise it. Now, that's the canal system. Overall, what do I think? I think it's a good bit of terrain. Do I think it's worth £50, you know, for the canal set too? The terrain builder in me is screaming no, okay? Because I know I can build better for less, okay? More, better, for less, should I say. The gamer in me, and this is quite hard for me, but the gamer in me is saying, well, you know what? If these corner pieces had come out okay, you know, and not had the slope, yeah, so they don't need to be fixed and lifted up, etc. Then yeah, it is worth £50, okay? Putting caveats on that, it's a nice bit of futuristic terrain. You're not going to use it for fantasy. Well, not unless you want some local woman there saying that Thor's people built it in the ancients. You know, but basically... You know, it's a futuristic bit of terrain. Now, looking at the Pegasus River, £34 would buy you six foot of that. £50 buys you just under three foot of this. But this is far more functional. So it's down to you guys. I mean, I would spend £50 on it knowing what I'm going to do with it. Okay, especially if these corner pieces were, were right, you know, and didn't have the slope issues. I mean, none of the other pieces have those issues. They all line up really nicely. There's perhaps a millimetre variance, but, you know, that's completely forgivable. 
completely forgivable. So, overall, would I recommend it? If you're not into terrain building, you're a club or, or you've got the cash, then yeah, I'm going to recommend this. Obviously, you're going to have to paint it off. up. Obviously, you know, there may be places you need to be, do a bit of work on it. But I think at the end, it'll look a damn fine. It'll look quite realistic as well. You know, it, it, the water is far better than the actual, than the Pegasus Hobbies one. And the painting will be down to you so you can get the painting right, etc. Rather than the, the strange painting with the Pegasus Hobbies. Uh, I do not think canal set number one, the £40 one, is worth it. I think you get far more for that extra tenner with the second canal set than you do with the first, to be perfectly honest. These... Brilliant idea. These are genius, in my opinion. Okay, and I fully support them. Yeah, this is a big selling point for me. So there you have it, guys. <coughs> the Micro Arts Canal System. Uh, sorry, the Micro Arts Studios Canal System. Is it worth it? For a gamer who's willing to put the effort in? Yeah, I'd say it's worth it. Canal set number two is. Yeah, canal set number one isn't. As long as you get the right corner pieces. If you don't, then I think the amount of effort you have to pour in to make it look good, you expect more for £50, to be perfectly honest. I do think saying it's average quality is a cop-out. Okay, If you're going to say there's defects with your product, you should list them, expected defects, rather than just using a, a catch-all, to be perfectly honest, guys. So, Micro Arts, if you're going to do that... Please watch call it actually list what you expect because I'll be honest with you, I was disappointed with these corner bits. So there you have it guys. Uh hope you found it useful. I'll be painting it up in the future and seeing what I can do with these corner bits, how I can repair them. Uh, I'll bring you some videos on that in the meantime. Have a good day guys, I'll see you soon. All the best.